Okay, in this next lesson, we're actually going to set up a stats controller. Let's create an object called O stats. We're going to start some variable definitions and we're going to do max speed. It's all going to look very familiar. Then one called original speed. Two. We're going to go in here and we're going to say, we're going to go back to our O player object. So what we need to do now is get rid of these two and Excel needs to equal O stats dot max speed divided by four. And we need to go through here and anytime you see the words max speed, we need to put those words O underscore stats in front of it, right? Actually, let me show you a faster way to do that. It's a little riskier because when, you're, when your project gets pretty big, you have to be careful with this kind of stuff. But if you hold Control and Shift and hit F, you can search. I can't make that any bigger, so I apologize if you're watching on a phone or something, but you can search for something. So we're gonna look for max speed. And you hit find all, and it's gonna show us down here in the search results every time max speed has been used. But we can also replace it and say it's going to become ostats.max speed. And we can say find next and it's gonna highlight it. Say replace that one, find next, find that. Okay, so I think what we've done We've gone through and it's replaced all of the instances of max speed with ostats.maxspeed. Now, you might be wondering why we would move our max speed into a different controller. Well, if our ship were to be blown up, it would revert back to all the original stats, anything in the create, uh, create event, and any of these variable definitions as they are set. Which means if you collect speed power-ups or different guns or different kinds of power-ups and then your ship died, you would lose all those. And maybe you don't want to lose all that progress. If you do, that's fine. Keep them in the O player. But I think I don't like to punish people for dying in a game because dying is punishment enough, I think. Uh... If you're a glutton for punishment and you think that dying should set you back to square one, then by all means, leave it in O player. But for now, we're going to put it in O stats, and we're going to add other stuff to that later as well. But let's run the game just to make sure everything still works. Uh, it looks like we have a problem. Unable to find any instance for object three named O stats. Here, pre-create line to H speed equals speed speed equals in the pre-create line two so let's see pre-create is over here the v i think that's probably over here so let's just go ahead and add acceleration and friction to our stats as well Okay, and let's go back to our player. And now we need to do the same thing for Excel and Friction. And hit replace all because there's not many. Same thing with Friction. Go. Let's see if that worked. Nope, still giving us a problem. Oh. Because I forgot to put stats in the room. <sighs> yep. 
Ah, no, it's not. Okay, so max speed equals. Oh, yeah, okay, so let's see. We go into player. It said that it was had a problem with max speed equals original speed. Right here, we forgot to say, oh, that's dot max speed equals o stats dot original speed. Fingers crossed, let's see if it works. Nine forty. Oh, we forgot one. I think we've got it all now. Let's see. This is valuable information how as to how stuff gets. Anybody can make mistakes, and that is how you problem solve, is by reading the problems in the log that they show you, and then just go by step by step, and sometimes you just got to keep trying stuff and seeing what works, and just kind of figure it out, you know? There we go. All right. So we've got it all switched over to stats. We're also going to make this persistent, which means that if we go from room to room to room, this is going to stay persistent. And this is another reason why we have stats in here is because if we were to beat the first level and go to a second level, all of our stats would reset. And you certainly don't want to punish anybody for beating a level. But if you want to punish somebody who dies, because that could be seen as an incentive as to get better, sure, that's a good argument but don't punish people for beating the level. And by having a persistent object, which means it stays all, it's always there, the stats will be taken care of. And we could program something into player says, oh, if you die, then your stats go back to whatever. But for now, we're gonna see it. leave it like that. We're gonna save and we'll see you in the next lesson.